everyone I decided to go ahead and make a bit of a video of um, how I make the stickers so this is what I've been working on previously um, as you can see the second um, artwork it's got these four dots so that's the one I want now you may see all black now I'm going to add some um background obviously everything is white and it kind of uh it's not good okay we're gonna delete this afterwards but it's just for a matter of you seeing these dots so, or squares so this is the, the important part this um page as you can see underneath it says 210 by 297 millimeters millimeters so this is important because that's the, the exact size of of a of a a4 paper piece of paper now why do we need those four squares these are for the machine to know that that's where it has to cut so that's like a start if we had like a uh, let's say all the stickers but without that the machine will adapt to the size of whatever we've got inside that and we want the whole page so it, everything matches afterwards okay now um i need some some stickers in here <laughs> i will add i'm going to add this is in progress but i'm thinking we could work around and do it like in word or straight pages um as if we figure out how to create this as a png so we can put it up on design space okay let's insert i'm going to insert a file here and uh, this is the one i used before now i just downloaded these ones and i really like them so i'm going to add that and we'll do oh that's too little and there we go no, I like that. Uh, as you can see, automatically it's been added as a new layer. I'm going to add a new layer here. I'm going to write something. Um, I will write something here. I'm going to uh, just just to do something here. I'm going to add a um, hi there. Okay. Uh, so while I work with all these stickers, I'm going to stop the video and then I'm going to show you how it looks the whole thing all together. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So I've done all these. Um, I've added some words just to make them a bit more personalized, I suppose. And this is important again. If we send this to Cricut, whatever way, it will cut around the words, all right, where the color ends. Because remember, we're not gonna have this background. Now, I don't want that. I really want a, you know, I need to add this white border. So if you've got this program, you will go to the airbrushing and you use this one it's the hard airbrush and i've created a layer under each one of these so this one is supposed to be the first one so i start here and as you can see it goes under it because the layer it's under so for instance in here there were hello that i added the cricket will run will cut sorry around this now i've got to make it a bit nicer <laughs> um, there we go and if i left it like that it will have also um i drag the color under it and that's it and now i go and i do the same with all the others okay Okay. 
um, so you see now um, I like taking that and see you know so probably a lot that's too tricky for the machine so uh, I think I'm going to just make just one little blob in here okay uh, so that's the way you check if you cover the whole thing white all right back again I'm going to stop the video so you know that this is what I'm doing and then show you the next step we're up to this um, probably second last part sorry um, I'm gonna add the so we still can see what's happening in here uh, done all the backgrounds as you can I mean all the edges otherwise if we don't do that um, your stickers will be cut just around the picture so now the picture now ends with that white edge okay now we have to I'm gonna um, not delete but hide the background now we have to upload this image let's call it image this image I'm going to put it on my um, gallery of pictures okay and to do that we're going to share it as a PNG as in my video I said JPEG but no it's a PNG because we need the, the white background okay so we do that in here it will ask me how do I want to save it I can save it to the files um, for this I'm just going to save it as an image it's good enough okay now ideally you save it to the file so then it's there with all your other stickers okay now it's time to move to pages and this is very similar to word I would say and I'm going to add this so this is the one that we've just finished and this is in another important step we have to make sure this fits right there so as you can see there is a bit of wiggling to do but then it comes to that point 21 centimeters width and high it's a 29.71 that's what you want okay and from here i'm just going to send it to my printer that's all what you've got to do just send it to your printer okay so i'm going to print it out and then we'll do the um we're going to go to cricket let's suppose i just print it out so i show you what happens in cricket so this is where you know you've got your um design space open then you go to upload and we're gonna select a photo from the photo library and this is it so this is what happens so we don't want to print and cut we just want to cut and as you can see the four corners are there everything is in there all good and i still want that i'm going to call this coffee time i'm going to save it and then i'm just going to insert it in there and here we have to change that so we change changing the width it will automatically change your height so that's it and after we've printed out our sticker sheet we will send this to be cut okay so bear with me okay i've printed my sticker sheet um i'll show you later and so when you have when you send this to the it will tell you that that you need a larger mat so you need the larger one because even though this yes it um in theory or actually it fits in the smaller one but for cricket uh, purposes it won't it's like a centimeter off or something so we say okay and we go to make it as you can see this is crucial <laughs> for the next step um you'll see that i'm gonna put cancel in here because i want to zoom in you see that in here the 
the blue line is not actually touching the the edges of the of your mat so that's very important that's seven millimeters out and it fits exactly under the 12 grid of your mat of your large mat okay so that's what i'll do now and then i'm going to show you how it looks and we'll send it to to cut okay i'm using vinyl print of vinyl that i bought from a place in um, amazon okay so i tried right away the medium cardstock and to do the die cut it works perfectly okay so that's what i'm going to choose and just with the fine point blade mine is a little bit blunt but it works really well for this anyway okay now we'll see what happens okay here we go so this is the whole page all printed they're quite large they're very large stickers but very cute actually this has been printed with my epson nx 430 and i'm just using compatible inks so this is not the highest quality you could get but so far for my practicing and everything um quite okay with this okay so most of these stickers probably will go uh in orders from my that i got from my etsy i add these few freebies and so that's it so this is the important part as i told you before you have to and i made a mark in there before that's the seven millimeters in that you've got to place your sticker sheet and it goes right under the 12 okay so 12 boxes down and seven millimeters in all right so this is my large one and i've got everything ready there to go okay see what happens okay let's press cut so that's Remember those little squares? Okay, so let's cut in that. And we know if it works <laughs> when the first one is all done perfectly. Okay, so we're in a winner here. I hope you like the video and I'll show you the stickers all cut out afterwards after the machine finishes doing its job. Okay, as I promised you, um, this is the result. As you can see, the whole page is going through. The stickers have been cut perfectly. The corners, as you can see, they're exactly where I told them to be. Probably a millimeter or two <laughs> off, but because we've got that um, edge, the wet edge, it does it really well. Now, let's see. Um, And here we go beautiful stickers so I'm not sure someone will from my uh, one of my customers will receive these beautiful stickers in the with their next order hope you like it and please give me my thumbs up and share this video with your friends bye